don't be shy. Go. Right, so what's your recollection of the game with PSV, obviously, one of the key moments was you losing Hugo Lloris during the match? Sorry? The game against PSV, I have any recollection of that particular game. Which is... What do you, yeah, what's, what do you remember about the game against PSV? What were the key moments? Oof. Um, yes, I think it was... was uh, that action was the key moment, yes. Uh, send off our uh, keeper and uh, and then we concede a goal and of course the draw uh, made difficult uh, to be on the next stage but I think uh, I think we still we have the possibility it's so important to win tomorrow to get the three points and be alive if you want to be on the next stage uh, of course tomorrow is um, um, we need a victory. Okay. Last season you went on a journey which which saw you very nearly reach the quarterfinals. How much of a blow for you personally would it be if you don't get the job done tomorrow and you go out? I will tell after the game. But before the game, I cannot guess how we are going to feel. <laughs> but you must, you obviously want the journey to continue this year and after being so good last season. But last season is in the past. You cannot compare. The past is on the past. And I cannot guess how we're going to feel after the game. I think I am so optimistic and I hope to win. Um, but if something wrong happen, I will tell because uh, how is are going to be my emotion, uh, I don't know today. Okay, go to Chico. Uh, do you know if the pitch will be in better condition tomorrow? And I think they improve a little bit. Are you uh, a bit embarrassed by the pitch? Yeah, yeah but I think improve a little bit the pitch. They are working so hard to try to, to improve the pitch. Uh, I saw a few pictures and I think it's better. But the condition will be for both sides the same and it's nothing to, to complain. Okay, Ben, do you want a question? Um, Richard, in, in almost every game now, or every week, you lose another player to injury. Is this the worst season you, you've had in terms of injuries as, as a manager? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's true. Um, <coughs> like I explained from the beginning of the season, that uh, the circumstances are completely different. Um, but of course, it's a little bit unlucky in, in some action, in some situation with different players that uh, got injured. But look, on the end, um, it's good for to all the squad to be involved and, and all sure that they are going to have the opportunity to play. Okay, Carrie. Can you show Lionel Messi back in Barcelona's squad for football and maybe a bit for yourself? Are you glad that he's back for Barcelona? Yes, I think uh, no, I think uh, he's one of the best or the best player in the world. Always it's good to see him on the on the on the pitch and of course but we need to do our job. If we want to be on the next stage it's not only we need the help of uh, Barcelona winning the game. If not uh, the most important is to to do our job and tomorrow we need to perform as well. I think it's a great opportunity to get the three point and and uh, have the hope to, to go in the next stage and then of course again enter the Milan here and, and play the last game in, in Barcelona. But um, yes, of course, uh, always is, is good uh, when all the players are fit to play. In that case, is Messi again is fit. Uh, Maybe if we, if we win, can help us, but uh, the most important, we are the most important thing. David. Mauricio, m most people only give you a small chance of qualifying now, unfortunately. Does that affect the, the kind of the energy of, of the squad? And also, does it affect how you select the lineup that you select? Yes, I cannot, uh, I don't have too much player to select or not select. Now I think. Uh, <coughs> I only we are uh, 18, 19, and no, I think it's the reality, a small possibility to go to the next stage, that is the reality, no, that, I think that uh, doesn't affect, doesn't affect, um, I think we know very well that uh, we need to win tomorrow, and, and the reality is, is not going to affect us. Okay, we'll take a question from Mark. 
Uh, what's the update on Dembele? Uh, how long do you think he's going to be out? Yes, I, I, we need to wait today after the, the scan um, to have better idea. The most important, he didn't suffer uh, uh, an injury in, the, in his bone, and that is good. I'm not sure it's, maybe it's, uh, his ligament will be, should be damaged, but we need to know now. Today, after the, the scan, I think we are going to know better. And Dele? Dele uh, is fit, is fit, is fit for, the, for tomorrow to be selected, yes. Okay, take a question from Ben. Uh, Mauricio, what was your reaction to the reports this week about the European Super League, some other teams hoping to form a breakaway league in the future? I don't know, I don't have too much information about that. What I hear, I didn't uh, pay attention too much. Um, I don't know, because it's a lot of information that happened, but no, it's not only last week, on the past, uh, many times ago too, but I really don't know. Um, if I have the opportunity to meet Daniel in the next few days, I will ask and sure if we have more information to, to translate to me. Lovely. Okay. Can we move on to Ali? Uh, Richard, uh, can I just ask about Victor Wanyama? Uh, is it the same knee that he was having problems with before? No, it was there another. He got a knock and... and uh, is, uh, today was training was close to be available. Maybe for Saturday is is uh, will be available. Was there another the another need that got an open during the game during West Ham? Yes. Paul, Mauricio, you say Deli Ali is fit. Uh, if required, how ready is he to play ninety minutes? We'll see. We'll see. If it's possible. Uh, um, he need to to work a lot still to, to get in his best condition and to build his f uh, fitness. But, um, yes, we are helping him. Um, the most important is uh, mm. he build now uh, um, his fitness and start to feel again strong like it was before. Okay. Tony? Um, who, who will play goal tomorrow night to replace you? Who? Yes, it's uh, three different options. Uh, Michel Bourne, Paulo, Gasaniga and Alfie. Uh, yes, I still not, not decide who is going to play. Okay. But one sure, one. one of the three names. Thirty-three <laughs> <laughs> percent of the possibility for each. Harry. But, but on, on that subject, though, we, we, yes, we've man. always considered Vorm to be the backup to Hugo. Has something changed because? It has been different the last few games. What happened in the last few games happened. Uh, I, like always, I told you, for me, from the beginning of the season, or the last season, or the previous season, always is we talk about our keepers, and always we try to <clears throat> to be fair in our election. We talk about forms, and we talk about performance, and my decision, or always decision, is always about to to pick the best decision or to choose the best player that is going to help the team. Right. But it's not in my mind. It's not one, two, three. It used to be. It used to be more one, two, three, didn't it? Yeah, but that is, is your opinion. When I select the the, the players, uh, but for me, it's not they own the number one, the number two, the number three. You know, it's dynamic. Football is dynamic and change a lot the things. And always is our decision. Always is trying to be fair with all of them. No. Okay. Move it on to David and Karen. Mauricio, every single week this season, we've had so many things to talk to you about. So many problems. Every single week, we've got a list before every press conference. Is that how it feels to you? How I feel. Yeah. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a weird uh, season, and but I, I am look so happy now because I start again the new episode, the new, the new season of House of, Car of Card. <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday I watched uh, three episodes. You know, I learned a lot from this series. It's I the recommend. Same, it's the yeah? same. similar. Eh? I learned a lot. <laughs> I learned a lot from this series. I think represent very well sometimes how we we are. Okay, Kerry. Uh, 
Paolo has... That sometimes is so politic, eh? Football, eh? Exactly. And it's, it's going, no? In this direction. So which character are you in the House of God? Sorry? <laughs> which character are you in the House of God? Cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's difficult, eh? To say, because <laughs> it's Sancho. <laughs> it's Sancho to say this or this one. Um, it's it's a, a fiction, eh? How do you say it? It's a fiction, eh? That is, you can translate in <laughs> many business that happen. Um, Paolo has tweeted today that it's a year to the day that he had his Tottenham debut um, for you. Um, how much has he progressed with the absence of Hugo Lloris? How much have you seen of him in goal? And the, how much belief do you have? How much has grown in that previous year? And particularly with Hugo being out and him coming into contention. Yes, I think uh, his progression was fantastic. Uh, of course, uh, the credit always is uh, from the player, but uh, yes, to, to give big credit to Tony Jimenez, the goalkeeper coach, that is helping all the keepers to, to improve and, and grow. And I think, uh, yes, I think after one year and and a half without, I think his, uh, his progression is, is fantastic. Um, we were right when we signed him and because we believe and we knew him from, from Southampton. And I think uh, he has, he's still young for a keeper and has the potential to be, to be top. Okay, right, Darren, I'm finished with Ian. Darren. Well, Bella has proven to be very decisive and, and really making do you think he's now matured and he is uh, out where it's been a long road, obviously, with all the injuries? Do you feel now that he's at that place that you've wanted him to be for so long? <coughs> I think he's, uh, yes, he's more mature now. And, and of course, um, always you expect when you made um, this type of uh, in, in investment and uh, that the player start to perform us in the way that you expect. And of course, that was um, tough for him uh, from the day that he arrived here. That this is his start, his six, six season, no, six season, six, no, six, six Yeah, because we started five with one year before the ride, and it was tough for him from the beginning. But now, uh, after I think twelve games, he scored eight goals, and um, yes, um, yes, I seen. Everything now is going well. Hope continues and being consistent during the whole season. And we can talk on the end of the season that uh, Lamela made a fantastic season. Because it's still difficult no? to, to, to judge him because wasn't uh, consistent like we, we expect. Okay. Um, yes. I've got a lot of friends who are Spurs fans and some of them have now find it's difficult to get to Wembley. It's tough to get away after a game. How much are you urging the crowd that go tomorrow to really get behind you and be your fourth man? No, I cannot ask more for our fans. Our fans are fan we're fantastic and will be fantastic and uh, we can expect more. Um, I think uh, um, we, the club, of course, the first Daniel and, and us, we feel sorry for them uh, because of course that we we feel that they is expected to, to be on the new stadium in that moment, in that period, but it wasn't possible. But uh, only uh, we can be grateful with them because uh, to be in Wembley um, um, and support the team is, is so tough. Um, because for us it's tough, uh, for our fans sure, uh, it's tougher than, than for us. And of course, we're always grateful uh, for, for their support and we hope that we can pay back all the effort uh, winning tomorrow and uh, winning games. Uh, that is the only way that we can uh, reward them can for I their just, effort. Yes, sorry, Last can one, I just ask, ask another one? You, at the start of the season, you, you were the only London club in the Champions League. And with the, the adverts for the new stadium, you made a big thing about it. How how would it feel to go out at this stage? Would it be embarrassing? Do you, do you how would it feel embarrassing? Or if sorry. you were to go out now? See, it's one thing. Yeah. No, if you, no, I think.
in a, when you compete in that level again uh, teams like Inter de Milan or PSV Eindhoven or of course uh, Barcelona it's not easy to go to the next ext- uh, stage of the of the Champions League and qualify for the next stage and um, and we are so competitive and we show uh, that competitivity but uh, in case that we it's not possible to go to the next stage Okay, we are going to feel disappointed, but no embarrassing. I think uh, when you compete in, in that level, um, if you are not good enough, if you are not clinical in front of the goal, if you not defend like uh, we concede again Inter and Milan in the last minute, or we were weren't capable to win against PSV, um, I think if you don't deserve to go, it's, it's not feel embarrassing, but of course disappointed, but no embarrassing. No regret about the adverts that said, "Come to our new stadium to see the Champions League." I. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, okay. Now I understand the question. My answer was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know. I, I, no, I think, I think we all feel disappointed because we cannot deliver it. The, of course, a, a lot of publicity to to play uh, Champion League in our new stadium. But wasn't in our hands to to deliver it. I think uh, was complicated for many things that happened that you cannot uh, manage, and it's impossible to blame someone or to blame the the club. Uh, you know, uh, when you the people that build his house that it's lucky to build his house or some extension extension you work with, always you cannot. Uh, you can have some idea, but uh, it's difficult to say. But and then happen problems that um, wasn't. Uh, I think wasn't the guilty the the, the people that uh, try to manage or the or the club, and was uh, delayed, 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 delayed. Um, but that is why uh, we feel sorry and uh, we feel painful for our fans, but for us too, because I think uh, every day that uh, run. It's more expensive for the club. Uh, it's uh, more issues for the club. Um, I think the first that is worried and feel so sorry f- for not delivery on time is uh, our chairman, and, and it's so painful for him. But uh, only we can help uh, winning games. If we are capable to win tomorrow and then have the possibility to go to the next stage, uh, maybe we can play in March in, in Champions League in, in London. Thank you very much. Thank you.